We are joined now by former FBI agent Stuart Kaplan. London's still trying to get back to normal after what happened on the London Bridge uh, Saturday night this weekend, and we know that authorities are busy investigating this case. Yeah, and we know it could happen here in the U.S., so I guess what, what can the FBI learn from each of these attacks as they look ahead? Well, certainly we know that the three individuals that were responsible for this horrendous act were shot and killed. We also know that there were other individuals that were apprehended. There is a treasure trove of information that has been left behind, and the FBI uh, is very interested in looking through that information to really unmask what uh, they may learn to assist them in some of their investigations here in the United States. There's a lot to be learned because one of the things that we see is we are being more reactive instead of proactive and I think we need to see that pendulum turn so that we get ahead of this uh, so that we don't end up having to react to these type of incidences. Stuart, before the 9-11 attacks there appeared to be somewhat of a breakdown in communication between the U.S. and the U.K. How have things changed now? Well, we see now the world is a very small world. We're all connected via the Internet. And I think that this ISIS enemy that has been clearly identified uh, needs to be fought on a united front. We're all in it together, uh, whether we're here in the United States or England or some other country, whether it's France or Italy. And unless we are unified, uh, we're going to be always behind the curve. And so I think it's very important for all the countries to come together and be unified. We have about 20 seconds left. Uh Considering the filtering of information through social media, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, it's a controversial area. We filter the information that our children have access to, and I certainly think that in the world that we're living in, it needs to be considered as to whether or not we need to start filtering social media a little bit better than we're doing right now.